Hey everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking with you guys about how to start a cash envelope system and what do you need to do before starting this budgeting process. I'm going to share with you guys three steps that we took in our budget routine to create our cash envelope budget system. So if you're interested, if you're new to budgeting or you're just wanting to get a different view on cash envelope budgeting, then I hope you stick around because I am excited to share this. I had talked about creating a budget cash envelope system in another video. It actually got a lot of views and questions in the comment section. So I hope that this video can answer those questions that you may have. So let's get into it. I had recently switched back to cash budgeting. It is not new. I was a cash budgeter from the beginning of our budget journey in 2018. And then we switched things up and our budget kind of flopped a little bit. So what I love about budgeting and specifically cash budgeting is that it gives you control over your spending. It has been proven, there's been studies done of what's the difference between swiping a card versus actually giving out cash. You don't need anything fancy like a cash wallet or anything like that. You literally just need a simple cash envelope that you may have. So it doesn't matter the size or anything. We started with this little guy right here and I had different categories written in here. So there's a couple things that you should start with before you create your budget cash envelope system. So how do you know what cash envelope categories to to make? So let's do some pre-work and that's actually step number one. So you have to know what you did in the past to adjust for your future. A couple things that you should do is gather up three months of your bank statements. This allows you to see what your income is, what your fixed expenses is, what your variable expenses is, such as your needs and your wants. So your needs is obviously utilities, gas, grocery, medical, and your wants is anything like grooming beauty, eating out, things like that. So once you have your bank statements laid out from your credit cards, from different bank accounts, you have at least three months of prior history, you are ready to move on to step number two. And step number two is to categorize your variable wants. So what is it that stands out to you? A way that you can figure this out is by going through your bank statement and you're gonna highlight categories that is this in the same boat. So eating out, you will highlight it in one color. Personal spending like shopping trips and beauties, that can be in another color. One category of the variable need that you can include in this categorization is groceries. You're going to highlight that in a separate color. This allows you to see what stands out and by doing that you will know that those are the categories that should be your cash envelopes what you can break down into specific cash envelope categories because those are the variable expenses that you can truly control. So now that you've figured out what your categorization is, and it's gonna be a bit surprising, I can assure you, because it was for us, you can know where you can tweak and adjust your budget. And that's actually step number three. And what I call that is your WIP budget, which is always a work in progress budget. You're always gonna revisit your budget. You're gonna adjust a few things. And a way that you can figure out what you can adjust is what we do living off of percentages. Now, I know that many people don't agree with this, but again, I'm only sharing what has work and is working for our family. And I just want to share things that we have learned, things that have benefited us. I want to share it with the world because if it had worked for us, I'm sure that it can work for other people as well. So you can pick and choose what I'm sharing and just make it so that way it can work to the best benefit for you and your family. So we aim to live within 70% of our take home pay. Now, that may be a bit extreme for some, but you can always increase that to 80%, increase it to 85%. Do it in a way that makes sense to you. 
But why I love this percentage formula is by figuring out what your fixed expenses are, figuring out what your variable expenses are, you can see where you can potentially cut a few things, lower some of your variable amounts, and really hold on to some of your finances so that way you can achieve all of your financial goals. So living within the percentages, it allows you to see, okay, if there's certain fixed expenses like subscriptions, cable, uh, things that is technically it's a want, it's a luxury, those are things that you can potentially cut back. And this allows you to visually see, hmm, maybe you might be going a bit overboard on your subscriptions and other spending. And so this allows you to see where you can adjust your budget so that way you can apply more towards your debt, apply more towards your savings. And I just love that. And one way that you can do that is by controlling your grocery spending because face it, groceries is probably the biggest bust to a lot of our budgets. That's where you can maybe review and say, I really didn't need to buy that at the grocery store because the five and $10 decisions really add up in the end. And if you can save yourself those $5, those $10 and put that towards debt or put that towards savings, then you can really reach your goals a little bit faster. And again, you will always work on this budget. That's why it's always a work in progress. So by adjusting your grocery budget, a way that you can do that is by taking inventory. And we are at the part of the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative people. You can explore new skills and just get lost in creativity. There's classes from animation, creative writing, film, illustration, and I just love to be able to learn a little bit more on an online platform like Skillshare with all of the classes that they offer. And one of them that I think is super beneficial and so helpful is this one taught by Julie Yoon. She is also a YouTuber. And this class is called Kitchen Confidence, Practical Tips for Cooking with Intuition. You guys, if you are wanting to like learn how to be better in the kitchen and really how to save on groceries, she shares how you can take inventory of your pantry, ways that you can make your food taste so much better that way you won't be tempted to go out to eat. And I am just so thankful for this class and all of the different tips and tricks that she shares here because again the biggest bust to many people's budgets is groceries and impulse buys that you have when you go out to the grocery store so i love what she shares here um, and skillshare is curated specifically for learning and there's no ads so when i watch any of these videos i don't have to worry about ads and they're always launching a lot of new premium classes so that way you can learn and grow in your creativity and other benefits as well. So I'm very excited because Skillshare is offering the first thousand of you that use the link in my description box, one month free of Skillshare premium membership. So you can take advantage and watch and learn from creators. So thank you so much to Skillshare and I really hope that this video gives you a new insight on how you can create a cash envelope budgeting system that makes sense and works for you and your family. So if you have any questions for me at all, then let me know in the comments and I'll hope to address them. But just know that budgeting is personal. Not one method works for everyone. You can pick and choose systems and tools that makes sense and works for you and for your family. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, try out Skillshare premium membership for free. Check the link in the description box. So thank you guys. And I will see you guys right here in a brand new video. Bye guys.